Hello YouTube, I'm the one and only Asbam Glaceon. Have you ever asked yourself how to get your streams from looking like this? You know, this, uh, yeah, I don't know. How it looks just like all crappy like this, all the way to looking like, you know, something more sophisticated like this. I think it looks significantly better, but yeah, a lot of people, you know, they start off with something just so simple. And, I, you know, I, I thought I'd make you guys a tutorial video, so I, I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, let me show you how to take... Something that's just as simple as this is monitor capture and turn it all the way up into two separate captures. So you have the bottom screen on one, which it does, you know, does function. So you can see me clicking around. And the top screen also has stuff, so you guys can see everything in live. Yeah, so that all works. So let's show you guys how to do it. So first things first, when you go over to your dummy slate, right, I'm just going to nickname it dummy because, well, I'm going to delete it afterwards. I'm not going to need it. So first thing, you want to put it on, actually... I think a lot of people have it on vertical layout. Mm. I don't know. I usually put it on horizontal because it does make the top screen look bigger. So it just, you know, more visually appealing to me anyways. So you want to put the emulator for Desmium. You want to put view. You want to go LCD layout on horizontal. And you always want to put main screen first. Because anytime that something's not important, it'll be put on the right hand side. Right? And that'll be on your bottom screen, you know, that little smaller window. So it's more useful. So you can always keep what's more important, the main window, on the bigger screen. And then the window size doesn't matter. You could just full screen it because that would be more, more efficient. If your computer can handle it, you can enable a filter called Super Eagle. If it can't, then there should be a, another filter in, uh, in config called Filter. And make sure you have it on OpenGL, otherwise um, DxTory, the application we'll be using to stream the bottom screen to OBS, won't actually work properly, which is unfortunate, but eh, who cares, right? Um, actually, no. It's just streaming the top screen. The bottom screen is just copied off by OBS. That's the reason it doesn't like very much. Um, and then you want to go to config and emulation settings. I'm going to show you also how to do the proper settings. You want to enable advanced bus level timing, uh, dynamic recompiler. Uh, if your computer is slow and you want to have the best speed for the game, put it on 100. Otherwise, you can have on 1. You don't really know the difference, notice the difference between 1 and 100, so I just recommend 100 for that. Uh, after you do change settings, sorry about the on. It will ask you to reset your emulator, so make sure you know you have saved the game properly. So yeah, um, you want to enable all of these except for edge marking because edge marking will make the game boxy, and you do not want that, especially if you're using anything that's not OpenGL. Even if you are, um, sound settings you can mess around. Uh, any game but Pokemon, you want to have it on synchronous, and you want to put it on method Z. Otherwise, anything that is Pokemon, just put it on dual CPU sync because it gives you the most accurate sounds because it syncs the game with the sound itself, meaning there's no frame skips and other thing. And speaking of frame skips, if you guys go to, where is it? Frame skip, limit frame 8, you want that check mark, and you want it to never skip. A microphone, don't worry about it. Like, say I have my microphone hooked up to my headset, that's because I can, otherwise you do not really need that. And everything else here should be perfectly fine. My headset's beeping, so I'm going to have to plug it in. There we go. Uh, let's see. Display method. Yeah, no. Open GL and filter. That should be it for that. I could always go to the control config. Mess around with those. You could always go to the hockey config. And you want to put fast forward to space, just because that's just like... Um, uh, GBA, so VBA-M, which would be the, the best emulator for that. Um, my headset's going to turn off because it thinks it's not receiving any sound, so I'm going to give it a little bit of sound, just so it doesn't shut off on me, so you guys can also hear the game. There we go. Alright, so after you've, you know, got the emulator set up, you can go to monitor capture right here. I'm going to show you the little window. You want to disable capture mouse, you want to enable subregion, and you want to select just the top screen and if you can find a different area in the game that you know allows you to see just the top screen a little bit better then you could do that as well but I find this way is easiest there you, go, you want to press enter and you click OK and if you notice on 
on OBS, now all you see is just that, right? You don't see anything else. Like, if I put my mouse in there, you don't see it. If I put the OBS, you can, but otherwise you can't see anything but just the top screen, right? Another thing you... Actually, no, we're supposed to do that for the bottom screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to select region, and we're going to move it over to the bottom screen, I believe, actually. I, I can't remember which one is recording, the bottom or the top. You could always double check, but yeah. See, now you guys can only see the bottom screen. Same size, whatever. We're going to put that down here. And we're going to add a new capture called Video Capture. You want to click OK. And you want to set it to whichever Story video that you set it to for the projection. I've already showed you guys how to use Story properly. Let's see, it's not that one. Uh, it's Story Video 2. I, I can't remember which one I have it set to. It's been a while. I don't think that's... No, that's not it. <laughs> Let's uh, try three. That's probably it. It's usually three. Yeah, there we go. If you notice, it pretty much fits like almost perfectly. So you just make that smaller. There you go. You got your top screen. You got your bottom screen. Because one's being recorded by, you know, Dick Starting. And one's recorded by OBS, which works. And since it's the bottom screen, nothing really much happens. It does not really affect OBS at all. And it's even though you're using a screen record for uh, for Desmium, it's not really affecting it at all because you're actually only taking it in a small size. Uh, you want to add, say, a background image. You want to just go OK. You want to browse. You know, you could just browse your computer for like I don't know, downloads, pictures. Let's go to a random EV picture and just like, I don't know, plop it in, and you click OK, and you want to put it just so it fits, All right, and then you want to go order, and you want to move, move to bottom, and you want to, you know, get it all settled and everything. Alright, so that should be that, and what you want to do is you want to add text, you want to add like, you know, I don't know title of your game and you want to make sure it's size 96 depending on the size of your resolution for your computer and we're gonna put this we're gonna put it right up here you could also put like say your YouTube channel over on the right hand side so right where the images so let's add text 96 and you want to change that. So let's put the yellow. We'll go red. There we go. There we go. There we go. You want to put that like right here. So you can put it like anywhere along here. This whole menu. So you can see all that. You could also put like your badges and stuff and a whole bunch of other crap you might need or you might not need. Um, another thing you could do is say if you're streaming this, because usually that's what you do with OBS, unless you're just recording then there's really no point in doing this all. It's just, it's just so much easier to do live editing. We're already 8 minutes and 20 minutes into, or 8 minutes and 20 seconds into the video. So another thing you could do is you can go to your browser. And sorry that's on the bottom screen, you can barely see it, but you want to go to your browser and you want to go to, see, I use Moobot. Uh, you want to go to your Twitch, and you want to go to the little pop-out. And if you're using it in um, Twitch, like, let's go to Twitch. We can open it up in there, too. Because as I said, I, I do stream all of this live, except for when I do tutorial videos. Because sometimes I screw up, and I don't want people to watch me do it over and over again and screw up. So, uh, it should be on the bottom, right about... That's the view list. Should be right here, and you want to click on pop out. Just because pop out so much easier. I put on timestamps just so I can see how long ago someone commented in dark mode because I think it looks better. And also, if you put it in dark mode, another thing you could do is say, you see the pop out menu right here is when I go to add in OBS and I go to window capture and I click OK, I want to disable uh, capture mouse cursor I'll show you guys that right here now I go select region All right uh, let's see let's put it so you, you guys can see everything you want to go select region you want to put it just so it shows the chats because you don't want anything else in that and then you want to take 
this and you want to move it over or it's about there and then you want to do a color key and you want to select the actual chat because if you notice let's just you know poop I don't know let's just type it like that if you notice the window capture right you can see me moving that around it actually is invisible so you can see the text and everything right but it's invisible so what I like to do is I like to take the chat I like to put it underneath the actual bottom screen and what you can do is in most Pokemon games you can't do it in all but what I like to do is I like to let's see let's move this over and what you could do is you, with window capture for the actual bottom screen you go color key and you can select black I mean, that's not the right one monitor capture there we go so with monitor capture you want to go color key and you want to select you want to select black so now you'll notice okay whatever it's opaque who cares actually we have to move this one order to bottom because you can see the chat you don't want to be able to see the chat if the bottom screen's up let's say if the bottom screen ever goes blank well, let's see if it goes blank um You'll be able to see the chat, hopefully. It's weird that I didn't do that this time. I should. Hmm. Maybe it did actually show the chat and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's see, window capture. Let's actually disable that. And let's try going through the door again. No, no, it's just flickering. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. I also forget the settings I had. Oh, well, that pretty much looks like this anyways. <laughs> so you have the text and I have my webcam because, you know what? I love webcam. That's just me, though. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I don't know. For games in which I can fit a webcam in, I just think it looks so much better. But yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. 12 minutes and learning how to make your stream look just that much bigger. Also, I will put a link down below in the description down there on um, like I said links for my previous video on how to use the story in OBS and I'll also put a link to the playlist for all the tutorials because I do have uh, quite a few actually on how to make your computer faster I only have 10 but still they do work like I, this is all the stuff I show other people how to do over Skype so I'm going to show you guys on YouTube so I'll put links to that as well and let's see I'll have to also link Desmium and the version I'm using as well, which is like X542R or something like that. It's a faster version. Unfortunately, you can't use OpenGL on it because, you know, OBS and DxStory will not recognize it as an application, but Skype will. So you could always use that if you're doing multiplayer, so like co ops and stuff. You could always just get them to share just the game window and you can stream that over to someone else's computer, which works. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. If you have any comments about future videos, or if you, you know, want to encourage me to make better content or mark on it, please leave a like, because it is greatly appreciated, because, you know, let's see, I make, what, 30 cents a month, and I probably shouldn't say that, but it's pretty much nothing, and... I don't know, I'm kind of losing motivation, but as long as you guys give me a little bit of feedback, I'll be sure to put a lot more content and a lot more thought into my work. Instead of, you know, no editing, no speeding up, and just live editing pretty much is all I ever do. Because I think layouts like this look good. Especially when, you know, they take so simple just going from a stupid dummy thing all the way to, you know, something like that. I, I think it looks so much better, but yeah, if you guys appreciated it, please tell me. And I'll make more. But TTYL, talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye.